Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. I have another video for you. We're gonna talk about a couple of things. The first one is the progress of the steps. So if you're interested in anything Mobile Home Living and you wanna hear what I have to say, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I talk to you about Mobile Home Living. Now, I know you're probably wondering why you're looking at my house and nothing else well this was before we moved into the house it was empty um, we had just finished the delivery and set up my husband had put uh, wheat straw down uh, over the grass seeds that he had laid out the brickwork was done the decks were done the gravel was put in so we had somewhere to park and we were just doing a walk around um, inspection of the house I'm sharing this with you because I wanted to show you what our original steps look like at the front of the house when he finished. He built the decks um, for the front and the back and he had some concrete left over and so what he did was lay down some stepping stones so that we could walk up that hill without stepping in the red dirt. And so here I am showing you the property, but I want you to see what the stepping stones look like so that as we get into the before and afters, um, you'll understand how far that area has come. So here he is walking closer to the steps. Um, the stepping stones are still um, sort of wet but he had a few stepping stones and he just recreated a walk up right there as you can see. So now that you know what they look like before, let's show you what they're looking like now. All right, family, I want to show you what progress is being taken, done around our home. I'm gonna insert a pic of the steps that my husband created when we first moved. And so, because he just laid the concrete on the ground it started breaking up so these were the actual steps that he put uh, he made a step up so then we didn't have to walk in the red dirt and the other day I slipped coming down the steps so he decided that it was time to take those up and build some real steps up to that landing so that's what we're in the process of doing now I don't know how he's gonna use that, but um, this is what it looks like now. And if I can get some footage to show you what it looks like later, then um, I'll show you the progress as well as the after. So that's the before you guys. Again, my husband isn't a professional, but he does an awesome job. Um, as you can remember when we first moved in, he just created these steps and had not done them before. So he took them up today and he is going to create us some more sturdier stairs right there. You know my say what I do. What's that right there, babe? Hmm? That, what's that trench you digging? Oh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, layout for the, for the uh, foundation of the, of the stair. That's gonna start the foundation with some cement going right here. And this is the first one I gotta build. Okay. A dig, I gotta dig another one on this side so I can get my landing situated. Gotcha. Uh -huh. So it's going to be a landing here, a landing here, and a step there. Gotcha. Yeah. So I got to dig it out first. I got some two railroad ties I'm going to use and, a, and two bags of 80-pound uh, concrete back here on the back of the truck. I'm going to have to use it get this foundation for the steps. Gotcha, so this process, step one of the process. Step one <laughs> of the process. 
All right, thank you so much for sharing the process, mister. Now that'll be, that'll be 500 right now to join the process. <laughs> I'm gonna play by the money though. I'm gonna play by the money. I'll cry. All right, family, I had to do a voiceover because I had some music playing in the background and I didn't want us to get copyrighted. But here I am going down to show you um, what the stairs look like now. This has been a slow process for us because of all the rain that we've gotten. My husband got a break in the rain for a couple days and was able to get some more work done. Now here it's taking, really taking shape. As you can see, there are gonna be four steps up. We originally was gonna do two landings and then a step, but it changed as he um, started carving it out. <clears throat> and so these railroad ties, railroad ties actually frame out the steps and give it a sturdy foundation. Um, there's concrete poured for each landing and then uh, you'll see later that this will look like an extension of the deck. So yeah, this is the third day of the project and this is where we are so far. All right, family, I wanted to give you an update on what the steps look like now. See if you can kind of see what it's gonna become. You can see the four levels. So it'll be four steps. One, two, three, four. So this is the progress right now. My husband has dug the trench for each level on this side. And he still has to do the last two levels over there. But this gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Can you see the vision? I think it's gonna be really nice. All right, so. Family. I know it's late at night, but I just had to show you the progress that my husband has made with these steps. Now, they won't be ready for our company tomorrow, but you guys look at these steps. He has done an amazing job. So, just to give you an idea of what the finished product will look like, the steps are going to be an extension of the deck. So, you know he built the deck. And these steps, they uh, have railroad ties and concrete on the inside and perimeter, but they're covered in the same treated board that our deck has. And so when he finishes the four steps, it'll connect to the landing. And then these rails will come down this side of the uh, stairs and the other side of the stairs and go up to the deck. So it'll look like the deck is extended all the way down the steps. He did an amazing job. Absolutely wonderful. So I just wanted to show you because he's been working on it all day and we are having a lot of company tomorrow so it won't be finished for you guys. Did he do an amazing job or what? Comment below how you feel about it. I know my family is gonna kill me but I have very little footage from this weekend. I know I told you I had a lot of company and I hadn't planned on really vlogging everything because you never know how people feel about being video. And it was just too many people in the house for me to just interact with you and have the camera out and stuff. But I just wanted to kind of show you like, um, this is Saturday and my friend is in town. She's the really pretty girl with the long hair. She's in town. Um, she lives in Florida and we had some friends come up from our old congregation uh, in another city. So they traveled a long way just to see her. So we kind of hung out on Saturday. We got food and um, we just really 
hung out a little bit. I just happened to grab the camera and do a little video taping, but then I have to get ready because we're having a lot more company the next day. And so what we were going to do is have a fish fry. And I lost the footage of the night before, but here we are the next morning. Um, excuse my face. I'm doing a face mask. And I figured me preparing for, um, the, you know, setting the house up for the guests would give me time to do the face mask. That's a Mary Kay face mask. It's the um, charcoal face mask, and I absolutely love it. I had some sample packs. But I have ordered the Miracle Set, which is the big set, and I ordered some charcoal masks, so I'm really excited for it to come in. These plates I found at a, a liquidation place near our house. You guys, they're just like that plastic you can find in um, Dollar General or something, but they're a thinner, I, I can't think of the name of that, the plastic plates that you buy. They're not like glass plates, they're plastic, but these throwaway plates are just like that. They have a really um, thick material and they were awesome. Everybody kept saying, do you want to keep these? Do you want to keep this? But I just let them throw them away. I got so many at a discount and um, they weren't thick enough to like wash and store. They were a little thinner than that, but they were so pretty. I got that um, utensil holder from TJ Maxx or Home Goods One. And um, as you can see, it's for forks, spoons, and knives on the front there. And so guests know which um, utensil they're pulling by what's on the front of it. I don't like to turn my utensils upside down because then everybody's hands is on all of the forks or all of the spoons. So I thought that was real convenient. And I actually played around with where to put stuff for quite some time. So please excuse the back and forth. But hopefully um, I had a, have enough footage for you to, to see what they look like when I'm done. This is not the finish. I actually moved one of those utensil things and just rearranged some stuff. After I got set up, I did pan um, the room. This is it until we go to our worship service and then we'll come in right after the worship service and finish setting up. I still had to put chairs out. I still had to um, do a lot of stuff, but I made the strawberry lemonade and regular lemonade. I've set up the plates and stuff. Really most of what had to be done was cooking. And once we got back after our worship service, you know, I just forgot about the camera because we had to fry fish. I did some shrimp scampi. I had to heat up those, some baked beans I cooked the night before. It was just a big mess. But I did manage to turn um, the camera on. Some of the guests were already gone. Just so you can see what we were doing, I do apologize. I don't have any really interactive footage, but I was just happy to have company. I promise I'm going to get better with vlogging in the future, being more interactive with what I'm doing, but <clears throat> it was just a lot going on, and I'm not used to it. So please, please forgive me. Um Look at my friend Margaret sticking her tongue out. She just wanted me to go over there with the camera. She loves my videos and she's always calling me laughing about stuff that I put on YouTube. So I'm going to go on over there and talk to her. Let's see what she's talking about. So when y'all wondering why y'all watching retardedness, just know that I do care about her. She's just crazy. You going on YouTube. I am? Yeah, she going on YouTube. Why? You got anything you want to say to my subscribers? Oh, yeah. Hi, subscribers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I missed all the food. Um, can I help with your dishes? I want to get another one, but they don't want to Um, let's figure that out in a minute. Fried fish. Don't forget the rolls in the oven. Baked beans, salad. All the shrimp is gone. 
Desserts heating up in the oven. It's a disaster in here. But we had a good time. Did Selena leave yet? No, she resting. She leaving a little bit. Jonathan, some studies around here, you know. Man, you did a good job with the fish. well there you go family thank you so much for watching this video i know it's a bunch of randomness i just had a really exciting weekend and I just wanted to give you some highlights. First of all, with the stairs, the steps, my husband is doing an amazing job. And I don't know how the weather will hold up and with his work schedule, but the reveal is coming soon. So thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate each and every one of you.